Hi class, today we're going to talk about diagramming sentences. So, the first thing that you need to know is what is a sentence diagram? Well, it's just another way to visualize sentences for more of you visual people. Um, it's, well, it's, it's drawing a diagram of how the, the parts fit together. So, um, fortunately we've talked about all we need to talk about to get to this point. We've talked about action verbs and the things that go with them, indirect objects and direct objects. We've also talked about linking verbs and things that go with them, predicate nominatives, predicate adjectives, and we've also talked about these pesky things called prepositional phrases. So, let's start off with some simple sentences and I'll show you how to diagram them. Let's start off with action verbs first. Okay, take the sentence, I would have run. Okay. So, the big thing about diagramming is you split the subject and the predicate, or the subject and the verb. So, what you do is you put a slash between the subject and verb. The verb is would have run, subject is I. Boom. That's how you diagram the sentence. It's pretty easy. You just put it all on the baseline and you divide the subject with the verb. All right. Okay, let's try a little bit more of a complex sentence with a prepositional phrase. I ran to the store. Okay. I ran to the store. To the store, of course, is our prep phrase. Ran is our verb, I is our subject. Okay. So, again, very similarly, you put a baseline. First off, splitting the subject and verb. Now what to do with prep phrases? They're a little tricky. Prep phrases go off of the uh, word they modify. Kind of a little slanty like that. And the preposition goes on the slanting downwards line. Two. And the noun goes on the straight uh, line here. Store. Where does the the come off of? The the actually dangles off the word it modifies. The. Okay, so that looks a little bit more complicated. I ran to the store. That whole prep phrase looks a little strange but um, it dangles off of the word it modifies. So, let's try another action verb sentence. Okay. This time we're going to talk about direct objects. I sang a happy song. Sang is the verb, I is the subject, uh, and song is going to be our direct object. So, again, the most basic thing is you split up the subject and the verb. I, their subject, and sang. Now, what to do with the direct object? How does that go? Um, what you do is you do a small line coming straight up. And here's where you put your direct object. It's 
So all you have on the bass line is I sang song. Now where does ah uh and happy go? Um, ah uh and happy both modify song, so they hang off of song. Uh, happy. Okay. So that's how you do a direct object. Getting a little bit more complex. Feel free to watch any part of this over again until you get it. We're going to try one with an indirect object next. I gave my friends a present. Okay, again, first off, find the uh, split between the subject and the verb. That would be I the subject, gave is the verb, so let's draw that baseline. Next thing we do is find the direct object. I gave what? I gave a present. And for those of you in my first period class, uh, you will need to see the notes that I've posted on the blog uh, with today's discussion about uh, direct objects, indirect objects, predicate nominatives, and predicate adjectives. Okay, so just like the last time, there's a line that reaches from the baseline. It doesn't go through the baseline, but it reaches up from the baseline. And that's where we put our direct object. So that's where we put present. And what, what present? A dangles off of present. Okay. Now we've got to talk about the indirect object. The to whom or for whom. So I gave a present to whom? Well, that would be to my friends. My friends is the indirect object. So where, guess where it would go on the, uh, the baseline? Where does that indirect object hang off of? Well, short answer is the indirect object always hangs off of the verb. And it's, it looks a little like a prepositional phrase does. Except for instead of going slanty down, it goes straight down and over. That's where we put the indirect object. Okay. So, where do friends go? Hanging off of the verb. And is there anything dangling off of that? Which friends? My friends. That dangles off of the friends like that. Okay, so that is how you do a sentence with a direct object and an indirect object. Okay, next up, I know we're at nine minutes, it's going to be a little bit of a longer one, but we still got to talk about uh, linking verbs. Pretty similar. They just have a, a, a little bit of a different uh, slant to them. Okay. Let's take this sentence. I am the man. Yeah. Okay. What we have here is a linking verb. Am. Okay. And uh, if you notice, we have uh, a predicate nominative here which we talked about today, and our subject. Okay, so how do we diagram that? So let's put our baseline, the split between subject and verb, I am, 
And where do we put the predicate nominative? It's kind of in a similar fashion to the direct object. Or, um, yeah. But instead of going straight up like a direct object, predicate nominatives and predicate adjectives, they get a slanty line inwards like that. All right. And this is where man would go. And of course, hanging off a man is the thought. Okay. We tried one with a predicate ad uh, nominative. Let's try one with a predicate adjective. I am very happy. Subject, verb. Okay, and this is the predicate adjective. Okay, I am happy. Okay, where do you think the very dangles off of? Modify am, no. Modify is happy. How happy? Very happy. So again, slanty line off of it. Very. Okay. So now, thank you for going through these uh, 12 minutes of sentence diagramming. Um, now comes the two things I want you to bring in for me tomorrow. There's two sentences you have to diagram. And I'll give you a hint on what they look like. I'll, st I'll walk you out partway through it, and you finish it off for the homework. Okay, sentence number one, I want you to bring me. I have done my homework. All right. Diagram that for me. I'll give you a hint. I is the subject, have done is the verb. Okay. Homework is a direct object. Okay. Diagram that for me completely. Bring it on in. I have done my homework. Second sentence. I am really smart. With grammar. Okay. You can probably figure out where the split is. Here's our subject, here's our linking verb, this is a predicate nope. adjective, and this is a prep phrase. I'm going to give you the skeletal diagram and you fill it out for me. Okay, let's see what it looks like. There's a baseline, there's going to be a split, there's going to be a lean there, and then there's going to be something dangling off of it like that. Okay. Give you a little clue there. Okay. So, that's your homework. Bring in those two diagrams, and you're good to go. Good luck.